Hey, hey, it's around here. This is a tech tutorial on how to further edit and customize the sales page template for selling an online course that I am offering in my templates and coaching membership and that it's also available to purchase as a standalone digital product on my website around templates.com. So let me show you the template and I'll show you what the video is going to show you. So if you are editing this template, this is a really nice template, right? And you're going to, for example, in this section, we have imagine if, and you want to have one, two, three, four, let's say you want to have five or six points. If you were to click on this text and duplicate it to have five point or six point, you're going to customize the code. There is, there's a code inside the, the editing. You're going to need to customize it. So this particular line is going to appear to continue to be added. So it's going to be the, the text again and again and again. The same part is if you scroll down, and you have this section here. If you wanna have what's inside the program, you wanna have more than four bullets. I'm gonna show you in a moment, or my um, assistant is going to show you how to do this editing properly as well. And also, depending on the course you're selling, you might have more than four modules. You might have six modules or eight modules or whatever. How do you get this line added? So we're, I'm gonna turn it over to my assistant who's going to show you how to do that uh, with ease. It's going to take a little bit of tinkering to hop onto the code. Um, again, hopefully you'll be able to follow it. It's, um, you know, pause the video and slow down and, and kind of take it all in. If you're in my tech support membership, you're always welcome to book a one-on-one -on -one call with my virtual assistant who will actually do this with you and make sure you're not fumbling anything, okay? So that's also a possibility. Um, the tech support membership, just go to run.link forward slash DCT if you want to learn more about that. If you're already there, great. Um, and if you're seeing this, this video on my channel and you're not in any of these, then at the end of this video, I'll also tell you a little bit about more information about it if you're interested. So anyway, this template is available and I'm going to turn it over to my assistant to show you how to customize all those points. Okay. Hi. So you're talking about getting this border, yeah, this horizontal borders here and the border to the left on here. Okay. So at the back end on system at the bottom of this, let me know if this is you, we have a, the raw HTML um, element and on there, um, it specifies where, uh, the borders. So this code is around the borders with style and color of raw, and this is border left. So any border left, this is the code and this is the bottom border. Yeah. So any borders with a, with the bottom, any <laughs> bottom border, this is the code. So let me give an example. Let me give an example. So in your case, for example, you added another row. So let's, let me do that here. I mean, added another block of text. So I have that there copy yeah so i've copied that i've copied that for example so in your case you wanted to put in the border line here so you want a bottom border so what you do is for that text element select it you know what the id attribute is copy that then in the element in the html elements edit code We're looking for bottom border you could because this is bottom border all right uh, sorry this is bottom border this is border left so you want it here all right bottom border bottom <laughs> um so comma i like it to be clean so i just put an enter then uh, control v don't forget your hash here all right save it let's have a look there you go okay let's do that for this one again text select that you know what the it attribute is go to the top that edit code in here because that's the border bottom we want it to be one pixel and that's the color we want it to be a solid line so comma my hashtag my id copy and paste save all right and that is there okay in terms of this bit uh where are we here so let's add another model let me copy and paste this one here okay so i've added these two extra models so again this is the text box i want it to be a border left so if i select that text box that's the id i go right back to that html code element there we go edit code this is for border left again that's the color comma hashtag save right back down there voila okay the same thing here select the elements that's my text id text element id go right where the raw HTML is edit code and I just like it to be neat. So I'll put, I'll put it here, hashtag elements, save. And I should see the element, I mean the border here. Voila. All right. Thanks. Bye. 
Okay, great. So hopefully that was clear. Um, go ahead and follow the instructions. Again, if you are in my tech support membership, you can get assistance from my virtual assistant to do that. And um, you just you know email, email us and we'll definitely hop on a Zoom call and get you sorted. If you're in the templates and coaching membership, then you've got this template. Go ahead and, and uh, customize it and so on. And if you are not part of it, you're just watching this on YouTube, this particular template is available for purchase as a standalone one-time payment or you can join the templates and coaching membership, which time of recording, depending when you're watching this video, it might actually be closed because I do have a wait list sometimes. So it just depends when you're watching it, but you can go to our runtemplates.com and you can learn more about this particular offer because this is gonna save you a lot of time. You can actually sell your online course using this template. It's a really good template, proven to convert, and uh, yeah, it's really good. So um, when I say proven to convert, i.e. Um, this is a, a conversion optimized, okay? So there's no guarantee you're gonna get conversions, but it is designed in a way to increase conversions. It's got all the different important elements a sales page needs to have, uh, product mock-up, highlights, te client testimonials, what's inside the program, a sneak peek of the modules, who you are, who it's for, who it's not for, pricing plans, uh, final appear, and an FAQ. So it's got all the different elements you need. And this template also comes with an order form and a thank you page as well. That's about it. Thanks a lot for uh, watching this video. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.